It's Mr. Bailey about. Uh, uh, afternoon, Mr. Coker. Is he about? <laughs> Well, how are they? What do you think? Any more dead? Two. Them two. The ones we thought. They were fine hogs. I had more sickening. I'm sorry. You're a vet not the undertaker. Don't be sorry. Right, I mean, I'll just take a look. That's right. Action. That's what that's paid for. He'll do. Aye. Oh, I reckon he'll do. He's a stranger. That's right. Eh? Don't be stupid. Tom started yesterday. Well, none of us are do. No. They're still up there. Eh? I can see Jimmy. I'm making a job of it. Aye. He's a good lad. What were it, sir? Uh... Not a square inch to be missed. Not a hand's breadth. They'd love to. He'll do that. Aye. Jimmy's thorough. Aye. Do you remember that wireless? That old wireless that he took to bits? Jimmy's wireless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it scattered all over the place for six weeks. But he wouldn't have let it beat him. Got it fixed. Yeah. Then it worked for a bit. It's a nasty sight, isn't it? Can't talk as all withered up like that. Yeah, I don't understand it. It's your job to understand. I know my job. Symptoms are wrong. They're not classical symptoms. Didn't I say so? Ah, you did. Well, I got confirmation this morning from Bakewell. The results of their analysis. It's not swine fascicular, it's not hog fever. What is it, then? Well, it must be a virus. An atypical virus, that's all they can say at present. They've sent the specimens on to London for more investigation. So you see, I was right. That's a nice for you. What do you mean? What about me? Have I got to put up with it? Look, Mr. Critch, you tell me what to do and I'll do it. I'll separate them as soon as they start to sicken. You tell me to burn the body, so I'll burn them. Oh, that good pig meat gone to waste. What now? Slaughter the lot. Not yet. Well, you order next. You don't even know what it is. We're doing our best. Oh, it's we now, is it? Eh? Fella says we. That's officialdom talking. Look. For the present, just keep up all precautions. As soon as we get anything definite, I'll let you know. Oh, by the way, I saw some of your men up the road. They were sweeping it with brushes. There's no point to that. No, no. As long as everyone uses the uh, treated straw and dips their boots well into it going in and out of here, well, that's all they need to do. I see. Good. I'll uh, be on my way then. No. Eh? There's something else. Something they want you for. Ah, your expert opinion. Not a drop, not a bloody drop. All the piping I put in down from the field. Useless. Dried up. You could say that. You might. 
If you were minded. What tried it? Well, surely that doesn't matter. Not matter? Well, as long as you've got an alternative supply, and of course I've seen yours, it's very adequate. Copious, in fact. Dragged up from the river. Exactly. The hard way. Pumped up every drop. Cost me money, that did. Look, it's not the water, if that's what you're worried about. I'm sure that's not to blame, as far as anybody can be sure. I mean, I tested it, the first thing I did. Routine. No, you can set your mind at rest on that score, if that's what you wanted to know. Oh, I've asked you nothing, Mr. Critch. I'm just showing you that. Well, I thought you said... Uh, don't we go over to Leach's place, OK, Leach? Aye, Mr. Bailey. Right. Come on, then. I can't possibly treat a child. Just take a look at him. See what you think. Well, no, don't you understand? My qualifications simply aren't... I mean, they're entirely different. You've got to call the doctor. We did. Oh, well, in that case, what did he say? It is a cold. Some were going round like. A bug. Ah. Well, there you are, then, not expecting a couple of days. That what a month ago. A month? You mean you didn't call him again? No. Oh, for God's sake, didn't you care? I mean, if the child was still sick... We knew what it were. What, just because he told you it was a bug? Look, if a thing goes on and on like this, you've got to keep the doctor informed. Don't you see that? There were no point. No point? Look at him. Look, I've already told you it's absolutely nothing to do with me. Has he had a temperature? A fever? I dare say. He's got thinner. He won't take food. So you put it on him? Didn't do nothing. We was too late with it. This? Well, oh. I'm not religious myself. I have no belief in charms. Particularly against viruses. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? You think this is the same as your trouble? In a way. And you want me to say so? Either this child called it from your pigs, or they called it from him. And that's more likely, isn't it, that he brought it in? Keep your voice down. A legal situation, in fact. With poor old Leech here stuck in the middle of it. And you want me to certify... All right, all right. There are affinities between viruses, between hog flu and human flu. But what you've got in your piggery is not hog flu. And that is not human flu. It might be glandular fever, but pigs don't catch that either. I've made my point, no connection. 
There is, though. Oh, well, you're the layman. I'm only a trained veterinary surgeon. And you know who there is. My Christ, I could do it. Not you. Just because he kept going over there. We told him, we warned him, but he would. All the more, you see, that's kids. Just just keep away from there, I said. Don't go pinching nothing. Not apples, no nothing. Ever. Didn't I say that? That last time he didn't pinch nothing. He took note a bit late. He got given stuff. Blackberries. Truth. He got called in and given blackberries. My Christ. And he ate them. Wouldn't matter if you hadn't. It's the gift like. It's just putting it in your hand. That's enough. Well, he knows this cookie. Mr. Coker, take this for all your troubles today. What were it? Pot of jam. I, I couldn't say no. Where's that, Jimmy? Here, go and find it, lad. Right? Bring it up here. Okay. See him go. Do you know what done that to him? Accident? Rheumatics? It weren't not that one. Just just going over there. Take a look. Who lives there? Don't say it. Oh, he's got to know. The names. Mrs. Clemson. When Coco went over there the first time he was walking straight, I sent him over to complain about the water. You know what she done to it. And then we told she says, take this for your troubles today. Pot of jam. And he was buggered. Ah, inside the week, all twisted up. The water? Well, I showed you that pipe laid across from the spring in my top field. And what has she done to it? Dried it up. And how do you suggest she did that? <laughs> She's got her ways. And why would she? She don't like me. Don't like any on us. I see. No, Mr. Quitch. That's a good local name, that. But forget, forget the college education. You know what we're talking about, don't you? I mean, it seems you're a bit slow on the uptake, but you do know, don't you? Go on. There's a thing called a modern. Is that a scientific word, modern? I know what you mean. Well, it's what I've got in my pigs, like a plague on them. And your science can make nothing of it. When that happens, you've got to look around for other reasons. And when it takes on people too, and young kids... By God, yes. Then you find somebody to blame. Find out who is to blame. You all think like this? Yes. He's talking good sense. You're mad. You really are. You're all raving mental cases. I showed you the evidence. You showed me nothing. Put it right in front all of you. All you showed me was what's inside your heads. And it's some pretty nasty putrid... Now, don't talk like that. Mr Bealey's right. Mr Bealey's your boss, so you let him do your thinking for you. Don't you say that. He's got you going on a witch hunt. Well, that's what it is, isn't it? The real thing. Hey, Mr. Bailey. Be careful, lad. Been trying to get me going on it too. Well, now I am. So let's talk about the witch. The poor old biddy you've got lined up for the part. What's her name? Oh, if it's safe to say it out loud, Mrs. Clemson. You don't know her. I don't have to. That's one of the benefits of a college education. But I can tell you about her just the same. For a start, she is old, right? Right. And ugly. Wrinkles and wens you get when you're old. Even a wart or two. All helps, doesn't it? Makes her nasty to look at. A bit odd, too. Talks to herself, shouts at people, nobody goes near. That's her. On her own over there, is she? Nothing but a... a cat? Or a bird? A cat. So she talks to that? Send him out, she would. You'd always see him about. Watching. Cats do that. Not him. Not no more. Got seen off. 
pitchfork. You killed her cat. All this talk. You're trying to prove there's no such thing. Well, you won't prove it to us. We know there is. Sick. They've got you trained to thinking nothing's true if it's not in books or you can't shove it in a bottle and analyse it. That's called... Work knowledge. out the rules. If what the rules don't fit, don't happen. The purpose of science... Tell you, fans, you got the rules wrong. Then we change the rules. Oh! Well, that's had me. For better rules. But we don't go back. And that's what you're doing, isn't it? You're trying to justify the persecution of some poor half-witted old biddy. And how do you do that? Kill her cat in the name of magic and then go home and watch your colour telly. Well, magic's a dirty word. Eh? Yeah. Scrying was magic. Eh? In the olden times, they took a picture miles away, then it come before them on a bit of glass. Scrying, it was called. Now they've got another name. <laughs> Double your money. Coronation Street. Called it. Oh, listen to me. No man. opportunity. No. Look, what I mean... Hey, don't what? worry, son. What's going on here about someday it'll all be done in the textbooks, all fit for human consumption. I'm not staying here to have my intelligence insulted. It's not. No way it matters a stinking damn. If you run out now, it's only because of one reason. Cos you're scared. Is that it, Jimmy? Crossroads. Sweepings. Do you know what it's for? Sometime or other, we've all walked through there, touched the grain of this. Everybody. Even that one over there. Let me pass. I'm going to see her and tell her. Oh, that's all you want you to do. Here. Where's his case? We can't use this. Here, that's mine. Give it to me. Look, you've been in my car, have you? Don't worry, he'll get it all back. That's right. Now. It's got to be you. She wouldn't let none of us inside, see? But you, you know, official like. Uh, official looking with an official case. She wouldn't want to draw no trouble by saying no. Now, you know what you've got to do. Won't hurt no one. No one at all. Just tip it over her. My God. Right over her head, and that does it. That's what they say. Grit. Oh, it breaks the power. All we want of you. Just do it and come away. Mrs. Clipson? Mrs. Clemson, please answer. What do you want? 
I've come to help you. Can I come inside? They're watching. Who are you? My name's Critch. Alan Critch. I know the trouble you're in and I want the help. Please. Just having me tea. I'm sorry. I had to come now. Never mind. i never seen you. Where are you from? I'm a, a veterinary officer with the county council. That is uh, a vet. But it's nothing to do with that. I got no animals. I know. I heard about your cat. Oh. It sounds an utterly disgraceful, criminal thing to... I'm sorry. It seems to me you've got some very bad neighbours. Neighbours? I agree, you can hardly call them that. Mr. Bealey, he's the worst. Yeah, I think he is. I've seen you run from him. Well, uh, I was on my way up here. It's Bealey I'm officially involved with. He's got sickness among his pigs. Has he? Now, I'm getting it dealt with. That's your job? Yes. Meanwhile, look, it's all very stupid and malicious. I gather you've had disagreements. He tries to make out you've <laughs> damaged his interests. What do you mean? Done him harm. Me? <laughs> exactly. How? In connection with the piggery. I don't ever go up there. Well, there you are. What sort of arm? Well, as I said, it's all nonsense. Things you couldn't possibly have done that, that nobody could do. Hmm. So, you put a bad mouth on me. I'm sorry? He wants to get done with me. Get me out of here. Well, he can't do that. They all do. Who else was in it? Saying things. His man Coker, I'll bet. The crooked man. Who else? Old Bascom. Little Tom Start. Well, I don't know their names. Them leeches up at shop. Oh, them. Well, they've got trouble. A child sick. Sick. That boy. Yes, that's trouble. Them leeches, they won't sell to me, won't serve me. Get along with you, she says. You can't come in my shop. Well, she'd have no right. They're trying to starve me out. Starve you? Oh, yes. Look here. Do you like eating gruel? It's about all I got. Come and see. Come on. That's what I make it of. Meal. Rotten hard stuff. It don't boil proper. I get berries off the bushes, but they gripe your guts. I tries to bottle them. So I see. They're all pips. A few spuds I make grow on them wormy cabbages from the back. They want me to die. Oh, Mrs. Clemson, you mustn't allow yourself to be bullied like that. Not even water. You know that. Water? Used to be plenty. Little spring just outside. Fresh and sweet, you could drink your fill. Made good tea. You know what that Bealey done? He cut it all off me for his pigs. Every drop. Ran a big shiny pipe across. Oh, that pipe. All I got now is from the ditch. It's not good, it's got things in it. You've got to boil it all. That's disgraceful. That's Mr. Bealey. Even if the spring was on his land, he's got no right to deprive you. I'm sure that's the law. Pigs drinking it all. 
No, these pipe water dried up. Didn't you know that? Oh. So nobody got it. You're quite alone. Yes. What happens if you're taken ill? I just got to manage. Oh, Mrs. Clemson, this is an absolutely intolerable situation. Uh, have you ever contacted, ever talked to the welfare people? I don't bother them. Well, why on earth not? I get up to Buxton bus once in a while. Go and get me pension before it runs out. I expect you get a few supplies in then. Can't carry much. Got most of the money kept. Well, they want it back. No, no, of course not. Look, I'm going to report this. Eh? Get some action. Officials? Stir them up. No, don't do that. You need help. No. Well, you're entitled to it. I don't want them nosing about. It's their job to help you, and I'm going to see they do it. For a start, you need a, you need a proper diet, and... In fact, I'm going to get you something to eat this minute. Straight away. Where from? Leeches? They wouldn't. No, we'll see about that. Now, what could you do with... Just about everything, I should think. For a start, flour and sugar, eggs, milk, butter. Do you mean it? Bread, what? cheese. Aye, oh aye. And what else? Any fancies? They used to have some little biscuits like fairy crackers. Fairy crackers? Brown sauce. Brown sauce. And some of them minty sweets with chocolate in. I like them. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, any paraffin for the oil lamp? Oh, it just goes to bed. Paraffin? Oh, and salt. A big one. Mm -hmm. I'll just get the money. No, never mind. I've got to pay for it. Later. I've got to or I won't take it. I couldn't. You've got to take care. I don't mind you seeing. You don't belong here. You're not one of them. You're kind. I'm only doing what anyone would have done. You're a kind boy. That's too much here. Take it. No. There. That's enough. I won't be long. Shall I tell you what they did to my Tommy? Who? My little cat. Oh, I think I know. They cut him in two and threw him over my wall.
Oh, it's you. He said to give you this. How's the boy? Asleep. I'll call the doctor again. That is the way to deal with it. I've no doubt about that now. You seen her? Yes. You've nothing to worry about there, absolutely nothing. Well, I'll be on my way then. Oh, well, uh, the shops will be shut when I get back. Some things I've, uh, I need. I wonder if, um, you don't have any salami? Continental sausage? No. Oh, well, never mind. Some other things I've run out of. Uh, any bread left? Just this one. Oh, well, that'll do. And some sugar. A two-pound bag. And flour, that one. And uh, half a pound of butter. I'm uh, on my own. I'm out all day. Must be awkward for you. Yes. Oh, you've got these. Uh, any stuffed olives? No. Oh, well, uh, a bottle of brown sauce. Half a dozen eggs and some of that rat cheddar. Fine. Well, Mr. Critch? Just on my way home. Short of a few things. Was there anything else? No, I survive on these. I saw you coming back. Met the lady, did you? Yes. Now, how much is this? Oh, I'm just working it out. Well, what did you make of her? She's old. Oh, that's nice and easy. Not many would disagree. Mr. Beely, even you are going to get old one of these days. You may not enjoy your present rude health. When that happens, you may be glad to have a few friends around you. I wonder whether you still will have. I always have friends. I'm a friendly man. I don't mean people you enjoy. No, you watch it, lad. I mean the real ones. The sort that stick by you when you've got nothing. What do you mean? What's he driving at? Who's, who's going to have nothing? Eh? What's that about? I just said... Well, she's got nothing and nobody to turn to. One pound sixty. What was she doing when you got there? Have you got to carry a bag? Aye. I said, what was she up to? She was having her tea. Not that it was worth calling. She's a helpless, harmless old woman. You're not a religious man. No, I'm not. Well, I am. I wouldn't have thought it. You watch your look. That's right. You all believe in God and I believe in the devil. You can't have one without the other. I thought that nowadays people... Never nowadays. It's never been no different. They've let you train lad out of all your senses. You know it too. There's dreadful strains in the land. Always has been. There still is. Just wait in there, see? Till someone has the trick to come along and use them. All right, you go ahead, believe in that. Listen, it's like... It's like... Well, I'll tell you what it's like. It's like finding oil and gas under the sea. You don't believe in that, no. I believe in North Sea gas. They said there was none. Then there it was. One said the cunning to tap it and put it to use. Now then, it's the same with the other. Learn how, and you're taking the man's breath away. Spoil him. Stop him, all roads. You see any mummies? Any what? Mummies. Down there that should be making. Oh, figures. You know what for. Don't pretend. Were there any? Well, she did hit them. Come on, what else you see? I told you. Well, there, there must have been things. Oh, whether well, you've seen them. What she made? What were there? She... She tried to bottle... What? Some berries. Not with much success. That's what she'd tell him. Berries! What else she got? Come on, there'd be all the stuff. Yeah, yeah, well, you better tell us when I'm going to stop. She always got it. She always got it. One more word out of you and I'm going for the police. I mean it. 
Oh, I... Tonight. Go on. What you could have said, tell them. I should tell them... I should tell them I've seen a bunch of people accusing a helpless old age pensioner of occult practices. Eh? Witchcraft. Starving her out and terrorising her. Not just like that? For a start. <laughs> Morning, Sergeant. We haven't seen you around here lately. How's your wife? What? Who? Us? Oh, but she's a decent old body, you said. Oh, that young Mr. Critchley. Well, you know, but between you and me, Sergeant, I mean, uh, you know, the strain of his work. If he's got to believe in that. I one. will. <laughs> oh, I'm just telling you, we'll all sing the same tune. They'll take you for a loony. Maybe. In any case, I'm alerting the welfare services. About her? Uh... Of course. No doubt they'll be making their own investigations. Here's change. Thanks. Excuse me. What do you got there? I just bought a few things. Who for? Me. What'd you sell him? I don't know. Eggs and flour and sugar and... Flour? What are you going to bake for yourself, mister? Well, I saw... What else one. you got there? Let's see. No. It's for her, isn't it? Get it out of here! Get it out of here! This is Clebson. It's me, Alan Critch. I'm uh, sorry about last night. I couldn't manage it. They wouldn't let you. I tried my best. On you. Never mind. I think I made up for it. Ah, how about this lot? I took no chances this time. I got them all in Buxton. Everything you said and a lot more besides. Here, have a fairy cracker. And paraffin too. My word, just look at all this. Marmalade, I'll enjoy that. Cocoa. Beans, I know them. What a lot of sugar. Tomatoes, bacon. What's this then? That's a meat pudding. You just warm it up. It's very handy. I've not had meat. In fact, I'm putting quite a few convenience foods, items like that, to save you trouble. What lovely things. And that's just a start. I said you were kind. I'm glad to do it. Nobody else ever bothered to do it. Look, I've got things moving. Of course, it's Saturday and the public offices are shut, but I've done a lot of phoning around. I know the chaps to get hold of. So it's all laid on. What's that? Look, let's get these things out of the way and then I'll tell you all about it. Just anywhere. Right. Beady and them. They're out for trouble. I better not be. 
all morning. They've been about the place, shouting. Don't worry. What you got there? Uh, a doll. It was on the shelf. Well, I never. You know what that is? It belonged to my little girl. Must have been their donkey's years. You've got a daughter then? Oh, she weren't mine, really. She used to come and see me. I called her mine. <laughs> Always some little treat I'd make for her. She'd peep in at the door to see what I'd got, or show me what she'd brought. Flowers she'd picked, or a dolly. Might be this one. And she'd dance. Want me to dance for you, Granny, she'd say. And she would dance. Oh, so pretty, her little ways. They stopped her coming. Her parents. I loved her so. What happened to the girl? Oh, I mean, what became of her? I don't know. Oh, Dolly, you have been in the wars. I will have to stitch you up in case she comes for you. Well, I thought you said... Never mind. Sorry. I should have had children. I should. Out of my body. But Clemson gave me none. And then he went. And it was too late. Such a house I'd have given him. All oh, shining bright. And I'd have held him. And suckled him. And grown him thick and strong. Because I'd have put all my strength into him. Every bit. And I'd have run them and worked them so. I made them in mine to give me pride. I was meant to have them. All that run to waste. Like a nut. Drop off a tree. Got trod under. Nobody knows. That's all. Nothing much. Don't matter. But I was me! Uh, take it easy now. You mustn't get upset. <laughs> I, I, I said it, I'd tell you about the arrangements I've made. I can promise you, you you'll receive a lot of help. Uh, for a start, the, the health visitor's going to go around on Monday afternoon. It's, it's a lady, and I believe she's very nice. 
And um, oh, and the water supply, that, that'll be attended to quite soon. Uh, some more things I left in the car, I'll, I'll uh, go and get them. What's the matter with him? Come on, lad. It was them banknotes. Well, I handled them too. Oh, he was just the carrier. Come on her in the night. She'd been sleeping down here to see to him. Leach found her raving and screeching like. Oh, she's calm and she's wore out. It's a lot of the same symptoms. She could have caught it from him. Caught it? What well, has anyone called a doctor? Oh, not that again. Look, mister, we know what it is, and so do you. We're just giving you the chance to admit it. Suggestion. What? Well, that's what's done it. It's the power of suggestion. She's brought it on herself through... through hysteria, if you like. She believes this influence to exist and that it can do this to her, and so it has. Just believe it. Yes! My Christ! It's a powerful thing, belief. It is, very. Suppose Ella were there. Mrs. Clemson. Ah, suppose she believes, too, that she's that. You, you just come in there. What was she doing? Well, I think she was eating a biscuit. I brought her some food, as you know, that's all. Oh, we did. Well, she needs help, and I don't mean just food. She's a bit strange, I admit that. It's not to be wondered at. So, I put things in train. I called the attention of the county authorities and the health visitors calling around no. on Monday. No. And I'll see they come here as well. No. We'll soon see what this no. is all about. What we want to know is, Mister. No. Who's going to be next? No. Right. Who shall no. be young? No. Oh, which of us? No. Oh, for God's sake, no. stop this! No. Here, come on! Uh, Look, wait! Uh, Talking all wait, wait, No, it's got to be the other way! What do you mean? Put it to it! Like they always do! Mrs. Clemson, look out, they're coming for you! Oh! He's dead. A massive coronary, I think. He was due for that. A heart attack. 